me and Shay are going fossil hunting again today, so we'll see you down on the beach. Some fossilized wood in this big boulder. There's also some more fossilized wood. Over here, quite a lot more of it. Sometimes you can get nice fossils washed amongst wood and things, some big ammonites or bones, all sorts of fossils really. But this one looks just to be the wood itself and some other plant remains and no other associated fossils in this block. Because if that was filled with fossils, I don't know how on earth we'd carry that off. And speaking of fossils associated with wood, I've got some wood down here. Nice plank of it, almost looks like a row of vertebrae. It's a big plank of wood, and with it, quite a few balamnites washed up next to it. A little bit of a shell as well. It's all of these little balamnite guards, which are the squid-like creatures. Four of them there on shore, probably a few more that have been there and worn off. A little bit more wood round here. Possibly part of a branch from a little tree trunk. It's quite a nice little story it tells when you see fossils associated with, with each other like that. Can you spot the fossil? Here it is, big squashed, what's probably a Harposterus ammonite, covered in little pyrite clusters. can see another nice big nodule covered in golden fossils down there. This one's got loads of ammonites preserved on the top of it, as well as fossil shells, all pyritized nicely.
So far, not found a single ammonite to open up. I'm sure there'll be one around somewhere. Or perhaps where Shea's looking, he might have found a few. Large bellum night, much bigger than the ones that were washed against the wood. Very eroded and not complete. The very tip of the, like the sharp bit of the bellum night guard is completely worn away. There's another pretty, pretty nice fossil squid. Again, quite worn, although the tip is preserved. That's not a bad size. Our biggest bellum nights are about a foot long. So you can imagine, I mean, that one's what, about three inches maybe. So our other bellum night, it's about this long. So maybe when I get home, the fossil I'll show at the end of the video today is one of our biggest bellum nights probably fits well with what the theme of this video so far has been. We never know, Shay might have found something else. I'm gonna go around now and meet up with him, see if he's had any luck. Not much around here at all, apart from the squids. Looks like a big ammonite, big partial one. Oh, that's been massive. Gosh. Similar to that little one we saw squashed in the shale, the little one with pyrite clusters on it. This is another big harposterus. Pretty 3D this time, although only half preserved. sack full of ammonites hopefully they all split open pretty well i've got a half decent hildoceros ammonite which i'll try and split on video as well for you too i've got a rock that i'm gonna set the camera up and uh, i'll try and split a few for you safety first so i've got some uh, extra safe safety goggles i'll try and reveal this hildoceros first quite a lot of the outer world's missing but we'll see what's there and if anything's preserved Okay, so it's actually come out really nice. It's uh, quite pyritized, so it's it's covered in fool, a layer of fool's gold. All the center's still there, so we could actually remove the outer world to have a perfect center. As you can see, we've got plenty of nodules. We've got quite a few different shapes and sizes, actually. We've got this big one here that could have two ammonites in, hopefully. A long, thin one. We've got plenty where you can see the ammonites running around the outside. This one should split nice. I mean, you can use a chisel, but I'm just gonna use the uh, thinner end of my hammer. Okay, so you can see the outer edge of the ammonite there. The rest is still covered in rock. We'll have to take that one home and prepare it with the tools. This nodule's got an ammonite in just there, but it's very, very rotten. It looks a little bit like a sea sponge. See the little holes where things have burrowed into the nodule. It's still pretty complete. 
Found a little fragma coin in a nodule there. That's the, the very end of a belemnite. So the squid would have come out the, uh, the end of that. Looks pretty nice. A few bellum knights here. There's some nice big ammonites washed next to them. So I've split all those now, it's, it's pouring down. I'm going to head back around to meet up with my brother and hopefully he's found some good stuff. Here's the key pile. This is what I'll be putting in my bag and carrying up. Back home now and I've got the really big bellum night to show you, as I mentioned earlier in the video. Usually the Bellum Knights are only about this big, so quite a lot smaller, just like the ones we saw on the beach. So to get one this big really is the find of a lifetime. We've only had one or two this size. The other one we've got is a similar size, but a different species. So we're very lucky to have both of these. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.